security was tight at the Monarch Gala, you took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were going to kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder. You were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? That's all we needed. Well, I'm starting to think seeing a pretty lady like you is too much to hope for. Why don't you keep your mouth shut while we get some privacy before we begin? Okay. How about you get me out of this chair? Ah, ah, ah. Stop squirming. And you're gonna need this. What's it look like out there? I think you're secure. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. And Dr. Emerald? I don't have a fix on her. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high-security installation? It's like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail, Weenie. Oh, well, in that case... My cover isn't gonna survive the night, but it'll last a little longer, so you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear. And Jack, you know what's at stake here. This can't be about revenge. I'm not here for Paul. will hurt in the morning. My powers were growing. I was learning to control them better. That felt good. Who the hell designs these doors? Okay, I'm gonna have to move faster to get through. Hey, Beth, I'm clear. What's next? I see a radar tower at the end of it. Oh, you could have warned me about that one, Beth. Okay, how am I getting to that radar tower? Here you go. Time felt broken here. Monarch built over World War II fortifications. Made me wonder why they chose that island. The existing tunnel system led back to the mainland. Perfect for construction of a highly secretive R&D facility. It's 
slot. The whole cannon felt unstuck in time. The timeline of the old cannon felt loose. I could shift it around. Smart place to aim the cannon, guys. I've been thinking. Monarch projections say these stutters are getting more frequent. If one hits while we're grabbing Dr. Amaral... He'll be frozen. Yeah, I know. It's a risk. Monarch specialist troopers have the stutterproof gear. I bet Dr. Amaral would have that in her office, too. I'll keep an eye yeah, out. I heard See if I grab it for you. Interest. Somebody said it's because they both got... How... radar tower. Where's the lab? Below your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. Oh, seriously? What is this, a Bond villain lair? <laughs> you have no idea. Just don't fall into the shark tank. Fuck. somebody this handsome, I know. Unfortunately, Mr. Serene is preoccupied with as many duties necessary to assure we maintain control over our path forward. And that's what tonight is about. The future. We all knew this day was coming, even if many of you out there aren't sure what it means. We're entering a new phase in our operation. One that presents new risks and new demands. One that requires this. The Cronon Field Regulator, or CFR. Now, many of you know that this device has been the source of our Cronon research since 2010. But what only a select few of you know is that this device is at the center of Monarch's plans to navigate through the dangers of the future. This device. Everybody get down! Jesus, what the hell's that about? Hey, Beth, I'm headed down into the labs. Okay. Bit of confusion here at the party. Serene's right hand man's on stage. It was supposed to be Serene. Yeah, I think Paul was too busy trying to have a heart to heart with me to make it.
Dirt Emerald's office. Looks like that's one level up. That doesn't look right. That was some kind of surveillance drone. Knowing that Monarch had eyes in the sky made me a little uneasy. The device drained my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener. When Paul visited me in that cell, he said time was a closed loop. I believed the fracture couldn't be fixed. Seeing the scale of that facility made me wonder. Time was ending? What was it all for? The chart showed that all of Monarch's major technological advancements started in 2010. Around the same time that something else happened. Ground Zero. office these things were designed like walking tanks they weren't for you don't flatter yourself
This isn't the usual employee route. I knew that Monarch had technology to let their soldiers move in stutters, but this was bigger than that. Somehow, time flowed normally in that area. Suddenly, Monarch's lack of concern about time stopping made a hell of a lot more sense. Dr. Amaral's office must be close. No alarms. Looks like nobody here knows about the mess I made on the way in. Nice job, Beth. That's Amaral's office. The Amaral had tried to warn Paul. The end of time was approaching quickly. Less than 24 hours away. Mr. Serene believed it would take years to run its course. Admittedly, he was wrong. That there looks like what Beth wanted. Oh, shit. Emerald's at the party. The stutter won't last. I better find a way out of here and get to the party. Quite expensive piece of tech you stole. Bill me. I knew Beth's cover wouldn't last long. I had to get it to her at the party before it was too late. Guns made to operate in a stutter. Paul had clear priorities. When time ends, guns don't.
The Monarch combat gear was unwieldy. What I'd taken from Dr. Amaral's office was, uh, is much lighter. Almost like a civilian model. Garage. Sounds like the way out of this place. All I had to do was make it through the garage. Seems simple enough. and easier. There's gotta be a way out of here. Talking about. Beth, I got that device for you, but Dr. Amaral's at the party. Yeah, I just spotted her. Wanna be my date? Yeah, save me that cocktail, Weenie. I'll make my way there. You see, Hatch getting shot at was an insider job. They create a window for us, but screen is not for you. Remember what we said? Beth, I've got company. Great.
Adventures in Flesh by L. Hakola. Chapter Hell? 11. Is submission. An audio book when over the Archibald radio? Finally Whoever that is, shut it off. Now. His dungeon. <laughs> I think I'll just leave that right there. Somebody find out where that's coming from. This is supposed to be a secure channel. Stress. He was still dressed in his impeccable suit of softest velvet wearing the horn-rimmed glasses that gave him an air of indisputable authority. Behind those glasses were his eyes, and those eyes... coordinates for Joyce ASAP. Monarch Actual is moving in to intercept. This is Home Guard 5. Just spotted him entering the tunnel system outside the party grounds. I could see the mansion where the gala was. I had to find a way to get there. I could see the energy field of another Monarch Chronon damper. I'd have to find a way to shut it off. My powers won't work within that sphere. I better be careful. You were headed for the party. 
What was your plan? I needed to get to Dr. Amaral before the stutter ended and Monarch found out I was coming. Should be here somewhere. Need to get to her before the stutter ends. A traitor fired shots during Mr. Hatch's speech. I assume this was Beth Wilder. We both know it wasn't. Hatch wanted to send Monarch into a state of disarray. Best way to avoid blame? Look like the target. Okay, lead the way. What's our plan once we grab her? There's a boat dock right outside the mansion. Okay, we can make that work. Oh shit! Oh, that drone! It's in the wrong place at the wrong time, literally. Jack, Dr. Amaral's in there. We need to get her out before time kicks back in. back in and that drone turns us into paste. Let's get to it, Doc.
to open that gate. What about you? You're clear. Go. I can swing by go. and... No. Just go. We went to all this trouble to grab her. Beth, I'm counting on you to keep her alive. Make my own way out. My plan is simple. There's a bridge to the mainland. Fight my way through anything Mara could throw at me and steal a car. Drive it back to the swimming pool. We'll see how it shakes out. Beth and Dr. Am are all clear. It was time for me to get gone. For that, I needed wheels. Valet parking. This thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there.
I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. I want to remember him. Immediately. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those tools. Then she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. You're right. We need to stick to the original plan. Whether Sophia's date is good or not, we can't deviate from that. Clearly, we have been compromised. Put a team together. Find out who she's been working with. Actually, I've already got something on that front. They just pulled this from the security feed. My god, it's her. Who? Her, Martin. She's one of our employees. How the hell? We got too big for you to screen everybody personally. We didn't have an idea on her until now. Beth Wilder. She's one of our operatives. We've already got a kill team after, but... We won't be able to kill her. Not yet. How can she be working with Jack? How does she even know him? I told you, Paul, we can't trust our own people. Who knows how deep this goes? Find out. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started, the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. <laughs> 